It's Alpha Weekend. It's and we're Alpha doing Weekend, Alpha guys. Weekend. I'm Welcome. Open. We'll do an update in the video in about an hour. People. <laughs> Find out next time what happens the next day of Alpha. I did Alpha in my youth group quite a few years ago, but I just remember it being so impactful, but there was no non-Christians that were able to come because no one wanted to invite them. And I just kind of thought to myself, man, like, I need to do that. Just a few months prior, my girlfriend was saved. Uh, she was saved through adult Alpha. That really just sparked a fire inside of me. When, when you inserted his Alpha, he told me right away and I was, he was like my best friend and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to support you. Like even if three kids show up, I wanna go. I printed off um, about three or 400 alpha cards, like little pocket sized uh, business cards. I went to every single person at school and I handed them a card. It was just personal conversations with the kids and just telling them where the time was and telling them that there was food. <laughs> and people started coming. It was 15 kids showed up the first night and I was not expecting that. The next week there was over 20, I think, and it just kept escalating from there. It was a beautiful thing to see. Week four, we had our first, first kid get saved. Um, guy my age, known him since grade three. Later that night, I went downstairs and picked up a Bible for him and I gave it to him, totally forgetting that he could not read. He's got ADD, ADHD, and he has dyslexia. And I look at him and he's sitting down, he opens, he opens the book up and he looks down and his eyes widen. It's like, Ewan, I have never related to a book in my life. I have never been able to read this. And that night he read chapter after chapter after chapter. First four weeks, man, it was kind of like, you know, are people actually getting this? What's, are they absorbing this? And then when he came out, he was able to start reading that book. And when he gave his life to Jesus, oh man, I was like, yes, it's actually happening. People are actually taking this for what it is. And from there on, like every single alpha, it was like something awesome was happening every single night after that point. Well, we were sitting there and a kid, he had been struggling with self-harm and he had all of these scars and I had seen them and like, I, yeah. And we, they were praying and he gets up and he's like, guys, all of my scars are gone. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, what? How did that happen? So we were like, there was like a few of us, um, like a lot of us, I guess, down in the basement praying and stuff. And then in the alpha video earlier, they showed like a girl getting healed from her scar, like self-harm scars and stuff. So I was like, eh, might as well look. And I looked and there was none. And I was like, oh, so it must have been like God loving me that so much that he doesn't want like scars or anything on me or any of that. I was afraid of the dark. I was seeing things, I couldn't sleep. I was full of, full of anxiety, like I could barely leave my house. I was so stressed out and I broke down at one point and I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. Then Joash prayed for me, like puts his hands on my head and I actually physically felt all of these things that I had been feeling leave me. When Dom's scars got healed, I can, I can tell you exactly where he got healed. He got healed right in that spot right there. And Ava, she got released from that fear right in the spot right here. And I can remember every single thing from that night and every single thing that's happened like since then in this place. And it's just powerful down here. So what happened with Alpha, it was like God was saying, Ava, no matter how many times you go back, I'm gonna keep coming, I'm gonna keep chasing you. No matter what, which was amazing. And it was so crazy because I didn't appreciate that before. Um, but now I really do, and he did it with other teenagers, which I think is crazy in this tiny town. It may start off slow, it may be insanely fast like it was with me, and you'll just see your life be totally transitioned, and your heart will just yearn for him and only him. We're not special um, in terms of why God chose us, it was very simply that he asked and we said, yeah, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. 
and he said, well, that's all the, that's all I need. <laughs> and then he just, we weren't even ready for it. 